Sizzling Power will complete the line for Jake Bayless. Toyed with his rivals of Bedezzet last time out. Harder here, though. Gate three, the five slow hands. Red light turned on. Here we go at the mile. Set racing. And slow hands away fairly. Star Buster away best of all. Pintang Prent and Sizzling Power both going forward on the outside. Diamond account handy. It's a Nemphilek likewise. Next one, slow hands. A length and a half to Carumba and Crafts Galago. And last of all, a sultry tester. So it's Sizzling Power leading the way from Pintang Prince and three wide third Star Buster. A length and a half. It's a Nemphilek. And slow hands, I think, three wide down the back there. Diamond account's over on the inside. A length and a half to Carumba and Crafts. Second last. Galago and three lengths away last of all is Sultry Tester. I think Slow Hands was one off the fence. It was Ipsone M for Lek 3 wide but it's gone forward on the outside of Sizzling Power. So Sizzling Power the leader from Ipsone M for Lek. A length and a half away third Pintang Prince and four Star Buster. Slow Hands fifth and one horse away from the fence on the outside of Diamond Account. Third last Carumban Craft. Second last Sultry Tester and Scalago the outside last of all about ten lengths off Sizzling Power. Who led the way by length to Ipsone M for Lek and Star Buster three wide going forward quickly there for Robbie Frab. Next one's Pintang Prince and Slow Hands creeping forward. Likewise, Carumban Craft on the outside. Shuffle back Diamond Account. Three wide going forward, Scalago. And Sultry Tester swings and last. Sizzling Pound just in front from Star Buster. Slow Hands a length and a half away third. Carumban Craft going forward on the outside. And Pintang Prince over on the inside. Sizzling Pound joined by Star Buster. In fact, Star Buster's poked the bib in front. Down the outside, Carumban Craft. And Slow Hands between them, but Star Buster has kicked about two and a half lengths in front. Slow Hands runs to second, late on the outside, Sultry Tester, but Star Buster in front, and Star Buster soft the line, one by a length of Slow Hands and third to Sultry Tester. Not sure fourth, Carumba and Craft, Sizzling Power, Diamond Account, Scalago, Pintang Prince, Ipsone then for Lek was wide and worked and dropped out to finish at the back of the field. All right, six, two, ten, and we're waiting for fourth. Uh, good ride there by Robbie Fratt. He's not frightened to do something a little different in a race, and he took off when the speed's slacking there on this big one pacer. Star Buster, he had his blinkers back on today, and this was the scene of his only victory back in March earlier this year, but he didn't give them a look in. He's kicked strongly and scored by about two lengths. It was a bit messy for slow hands when he went up in the air at the start. And then he, he over-raced, he pulled hard like he can do. So he's done a good job to get within a length of the winner. And it looks as though Sultry Tester, which was specced at 41 into 26, has finished in third spot. It did seem as though that uh, Sizzling Power tried to walk them around and hence there were a lot, lot of things going on. Those back markers weren't suited, but it was Robbie Frad that gets the 10 out of 10 ride there and he boots home Star Buster for Robbie Heathcote. So he's now had 16 starts, this guy, and that was his second win, Sam. 6 2 10 8 4 Sizzling Power. Yeah, it's good to see him get his second win on the board and uh, as you said, a good ride by Robbie Frad because uh, tempo was moderate with Jake Bayless leading up on sizzling power. They were just going steady and then, uh, yeah, Robbie just uh, took the bull by the horns and said, I'm going to get into this race early and I think that was the winning move, Rob, wasn't it? Putting himself positive, putting himself in a position where he was right on their hammer on straightening because this horse he was suited to getting to the mile today and just re just getting a move into the race earlier than the others. Yeah, good. Yeah, well, <laughs> well summed up, Sammy. You've nailed it. I mean, training a winner for the chairman of the club and your landlord's always a good career move. Um, but look, the blinkers on. Ro Robbie Fred back on. Uh, we had the rain. We've got a track that he can get his toes in. He raced a little bit handier. You know, and he summed it up. I mean, the rider of the leader was going too slow, and Robbie said, well, bugger this. Around he went, served it up to the leader, and, you know, away he went and pinched a break. It just, just that, That's why we use these quality jockeys. They make these decisions invariably, Sammy, which are the right ones. Well done, Rob. Good on you, buddy. Here's Rob Heathcote. Saddles up Starbuster in the Neville Bell Colours Muns. He was too good today.
Robbie Fred gave Starbuster a super ride there. You didn't hang around for them, Robbie. You got on your bike. Sammy, uh, you know, the source, you can't wait for them to sprint, you know. He's a big striding bug. It covers a lot of ground. And he's a momentum horse. So, yeah, I picked him up early and said, let's go. They were just going pretty steady. So, wasn't going to work in my favour if I just sat behind that other horse. He's only had the one win under his belt. And the one thing I've noticed about, I've watched this horse and he's racing a fair bit. And I don't think he likes it when horses get around him and crowd him up. And when you got out and, and rolled into the race, you could see that as he was sort of improving into the race, it was like his confidence was building. 100%. That's why I didn't take the fence, you know. He doesn't want to be cramped up because of the big action he's got. And um, again, for about the 600, I pulled him out and started to go. Should have seen the smile on his face. It's easy. He's smiling. Well done, Robbie. Thanks, Emmy.